Good evening. My name is Florian Schlaps and I'm the caseworker for my client Brody. His mother recently contacted me and asked me for help. She told me that her son Brody has issues. Brody cannot be told what to do. His mother describes to me that her 15 year old son displays what she terms above and beyond normal teenage disobedience. Tests at school demonstrate that Brody's intellect and abilities are seemingly to some degree above the normal level of his age group, but his grades suffer due to his propensity to become angry and picks verbal disputes with his teacher and other employees at his school. Brody's mother explained to me that she has no history of drug use that she's aware of with her son, but Brody has only been in trouble within the academic setting. But, he's, but she's worried that, it, that in his way of behavior alongside his confrontational nature will bring bigger problems than just school problems his way. From the information Brody's mother provided me with, I believe that Brody, despite his hormonal changes that are normal for his age, seems to suffer from oppositional defined disorder, also called ODD. ODD is part of the class of externalizing disorders, but can also be seen as a foundation to conduct disorder and is a milder version of exp or expression of the previously named disorder. Children with ODD tend to be uncooperative, rebellious, aggressive towards peers, parents, teachers, and other authority figures. Brody's mother also asked questions in reference to ADHD, but one indication of difference is that children with, with ODD are more intentional in their disorderly conduct than children with ADHD. Another likelihood of ODD is that his behavior and disorder is four times more common than in boys than it is in their female counterparts, even though some studies say otherwise. In Brody's case, it is not fully developed it is not a fully developed conduct disorder yet, which means there is hope. And Brody's mother does not need to worry whether her son will end up as a delinquent juvenile one day. There are several treatment options that I would recommend for Brody. Uh, I mean for Brody's condition. The first option would be cognitive behavioral th therapy, where the child learns to solve problems by communication and learns to control his anger. Secondly, peer group and family therapy, which supports family as well as peer interactions, helps my client with, per, like, with interpersonal skills. I would like to advise my client and his mother that medications, even though they're not used to treat for ODD, could treat underlying anxiety or ADHD problems. I'm sure that with a possible combination of these Three of these methods, Brody can prevent this behavioral disorder from taking a for him bad turn in the future.